Is the photo you see in front of you real or computer generated? That's the name of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the video. In today's world of modern technology, I pride myself on being what's called a CGI connoisseur. I love me a good visual effect. The taste of it, the smell of it, like a good aged wine. <laughs> Which is why I have in front of us today a quiz to test our knowledge and our distinction between reality and what a computer can create in 2021. Right off the bat, this quiz looks a bit outdated, honestly, <laughs> but we're still going to test the knowledge and see if I can determine what looks like CGI and what doesn't. Because when I watch a movie, I can tell like 99% of the time when a shot has CG in it and when it doesn't. So this picture coming off to me looks real to me. Just in my opinion, it looks real. And I don't know how this works. I don't know if it's gonna tell me if it's wrong or not, but I'm gonna say it's a photo. What do you think? Put it in the comments below, okay. It's a photo. Okay. okay. This is a real bird. If you didn't know, this is actually a real bird. Uh, it's trying to fool me already with the second photo. This is a photo. Thank you. Okay. All right. This is actually <laughs> kind of hard. Is this supposed to be hard? This looks like a photo as well. Okay. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to keep my, my consistent streak and keep saying that these are photos. Okay. Now. Okay. <laughs> this is very interesting. What I'm getting from these photos so far is the amount of detail is impeccable. And therefore I think most of these, if not all of them, are probably photos. Look at the detail on that. Look at the detail on that kiwi and the depth of field behind it. You see these little bubbles over here? That would require some very accurate programming to get a correct uh, depth of field like that, especially with the curved one. I'm a nerd. We're gonna figure that out very quickly. This is a photo. This is also a photo. Okay, is this, <laughs> what's going on here? Am I, am I doing something wrong? Is this, this is, this looks like a photo. These all just look like super zoom, <laughs> super zoomed in photos of random objects. Okay, this looks like a photo, I would say. Volcano, looks like a photo. The lighting looks pretty realistic. Lighting looks realistic, that's a photo. Uh, what is that? <laughs> Staircase or a roof of some kind? Photo? Doesn't look like CGI would... These are all photos. I was expecting to be thrown for a loop, but apparently not. These all look like photos. Maybe I'm not so good at this. No, I'm gonna keep my confidence. I'm gonna keep my cool. This also looks like a photo. That is a mean face you got there, buddy. Submit answers. Okay. So we're gonna see here. You scored 60. I'm sorry. What? Okay, so... These are the ones I got wrong. Well, that was kind of underwhelming. I'll leave all these links in the description, by the way. Luckily, I have more content because that was very quick. I can't, there's no like proof or anything that it's CGI or not. So I don't, I don't know <laughs> how much credit to give this quiz. Okay, we're gonna give another quiz a try. Okay, so starting right off the bat, a sink, a Delta sink. This video is sponsored by Delta, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we have a sink, which I think, right off the bat, I think it's a bit too clean. There's no evidence of any physical imperfections or fingerprints on the metal, which I would expect there to be somewhere, which I don't see any of that. And it takes an extra level of CG and effort to put imperfections on your uh, metal and reflective materials. I'm just acting like I know what I'm talking about. I have no real knowledge of actually creating things in CG. I just have some experience in the visual effects industry. I, and I can, I can quite confidently call myself that. <laughs> Other than a CGI connoisseur, I am also a visual effects artist, I'll say that. Also, the background is completely white, so that is also not helping this photo's case. And so I'm gonna say this is CG. Okay, also no imperfections in this model um, of what seems to be a gun. Family-friendly content only on this channel, by the way. Yeah, there's no fingerprints or like anything like that, and it looks a bit not real. 
you can kind of tell we're still on like that sort of edge where you can there's this sort of uncanny valley aspect of cgi where you kind of can tell that something's off just by looking at it because you've seen so many things in your life that you're able to tell when something's off. So I'm gonna say one and two are CG models. Okay, all right, let's see. So I instantly go to the light on this one and also see that that, I think the light is CG. Does that count? Because the plants and the cups look real and the background looks real, I think. Um, but the, the light itself kind of looks like it's placed into the image. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this one's real only because I think I have to classify the entire image as CG, which I don't think this one is. So four, okay. This looks, it looks real. The, the shadow under the car looks pretty genuine and you can see the fold on the background. Like this is simply a commercial. So I'd say this is a real car. The glass is nice, the reflection off of the cars looks pretty accurate and there's a little there's a little light coming off the headlights on the right so i'm going to say this is real this looks real right off the bat reflections are perfect there's just so much detail there's so many objects in this image that it just instantly tells me that it's real so two fake three real um what <laughs> i'm sorry this is a change of pace why is there a car what happened here? Is this telling some sort of story? Is that this car? <laughs> Did the owner get a paint job and was like, I hate the this, I hate this car now. I have to throw it at my house. Also, it looks like the car came out from the house because the, the shingles you see are like sticking out instead of like going in like they usually would. Because I assumed the car would drive into the house. That's already a wild assumption, but going off of the storyline, <laughs> this looks fake to me. I think the image of the house is real, but the actual car, they nailed the reflections on the car. I can see the tree in the car and I can see the shingles off of the reflection of the car, but I think it's fake as far as the, as far as the car goes. So I'm going to, I'm going to classify this image as CG. Uh, this looks real. The shadows look pretty authentic. So I'm gonna say this uh, image is also real. Okay, number eight. This is definitely fake because <laughs> it's a model, white background, perfectly white background. Like the image is cut out, no imperfections on the actual golf club. I'd also like to take a moment to say that this video is also sponsored by Nike Golf Clubs. Thank you. So that's fake. I'm gonna say that's fake. Number nine, This this looks real. The lighting looks pretty real to me. We're learning a lot here today about CGI. If you don't know too much about CGI, hopefully you're learning a thing or two, is that lighting and imperfections are key to making a CGI image look realistic. And if I get all these wrong, fine. Don't listen to me. I got a 67% on the first quiz. As a visual effects artist, okay, I'm not gonna use these simple online tests as proof that I am a professional because I know I am. This 67% over here, that doesn't mean anything. I am a professional visual effects artist and I shall be treated as such in the comments. Thank you. <laughs> number nine, this looks real. And number 10, this looks, okay, let's see how well we did. I'm gonna say that one's real. So, okay, we were right in the first two being CG Three was photography, I was right on that one. Four is CG. Four is CG. The car. It's fake. Okay. Darn it. Okay. Let's keep going. So remember I said that one was photography. Five and six are photography. Five and six. Six is real? We, uh, uh, <laughs> like an explanation, please. Where did you, I can see it now. You know what would make a perfect car commercial for our new Honda Accord model? Let's just throw it at a house, you know, and take a couple pictures of it. That'll really be appealing to the audience. It'll make them want to crash their cars into their house, meaning more money for us. What kind of photo shoot was this? What? Who signed this off and said it was a good idea? Also, whose house is this? <laughs> I don't believe that, okay? The reflections look really good. I'll 
give them that. But it just looks so bizarre that I just refused to believe that it was real. 7 CG. Okay, well I guess... I guess that makes sense. I'm kind of putting aside the imperfections on this one. The lighting just looks so good. These are some real CG artists going in and taking months to create these pictures? Probably. Something like that. I don't know the actual timeline. How long it would take to make something. Okay, 8, obviously CG. Uh, 9 and 10, photography. This is CGI. So I was right on 9, but 10 is CG. Very interesting. That kind of makes sense to me now. Looking at the buckles, they look a bit fake. But this looks like the cover of like a... This would be on like a children's toy. It looks like a car or something like that. With the warning sticker or whatever. So maybe those images that they put on those kids' toys are CG. It would be very helpful instead of just doing a photo shoot for the actual product. Unlike Honda, uh, which is apparently going above and beyond, just completely throwing all the other photography competition out of the water by throwing their car into a house. We're gonna move on. <laughs> oh, my light just died. <laughs> Signaling that we are coming to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully you learned something. This was really fun to do. I actually really enjoyed these quizzes. Um, let me know if you want to see more of this stuff. It was really fun to do this and I, I, I kind of want to uh, dive a bit more into the CGI related sort of things because I thought it would be a really cool sort of aspect because I do have some knowledge in editing, visual effects, and things like that. But I have a lot to learn. When it comes to this sort of CGI, I might I might not ever be able to uh, work in this sort of field, but I will forever be astonished by what technology can do these days with computer-generated imagery. I'll always be impressed, I think. There will never be a dull moment. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something, and as always, I'll see you guys next week. Have a good one!